So the further apparatus finals still to come. We have three more coming up for you. Shortly coming on, it will be the women's floor final competitors. And we'll be joined by the men's parallel bar the finals too. Sets of 16 finalists counted in. The women's floor finalists entering the arena, for many of them re entering, seeing some familiar faces appearing. France, Marine Boyer is in the mix in qualification. Sofia Kovac as well for Hungary, already a bronze medalist. It's on the uneven bars a little bit earlier on. Some youth representatives in the shape of Silas Macias from Argentina. Well, let's say this. Everyone in this final. Very much uh, on the younger side of affairs in terms of life. Some great talent in the men's competition. This is for the parallel bars. Marine Boyer back. Thomas Gonzalez just there and now Vladislav Mileko from Ukraine. Sidar Masias. Alexander Kartsev. Sofia Kovac. In 175 is Sergei Eltkov of Russian Federation. Meta Holosova. Kaito Sugimoto. Ryan Shepard, just seen there. Anastasia Alistartava in Belarus. Nikolai Ilapoulos. Juan Mejias. And that there, Diana Vorinska. And just before Vorinska was her compatriot from Ukraine, Yevgen Yudenkov. So Thomas Gonzalez, the Chilean will be going first. He was present in the floor final earlier on. Vladislav Hileko, first time we're seeing him. Alexander Kartsev looking to enhance his growing reputation, the Russian. On the floor it will be Boyer who goes first for France. Diana Varinska just missed out on a medal. Moments earlier in her final, she is left until last. So the parallel bars so often characterized by stillness, the quality of hitting handstands and on the very first occasion. 
plays a huge role in this apparatus. Thomas Gonzalez is the first and using the full length of the parallel bars. An important element to include. Good initial stillness. First release and catch. And the dismounts from Gonzalez. And very coolly done. So Maureen Boyer just seen her take a fourth position on the balance beam. She's straight back into the action because she was last to go in the last final, first on the floor. Full of character, full of vibrancy, Marine and Boya. Very good start to this floor final. See the good line in the legs through the body. The scale pivot. Thomas Gonzalez, 13.65. So Vladislav Hireko from Ukraine. No pacing in the hands when he hits the handstand. It's very good to see. Cleanly up into the handstand again with little adjustment. difficulty moving over to one bar and then Hideko takes the dismount takes it very well indeed Marine Boya 13.4 to open things up it's a very good routine we've just seen from Vladislav Hideko now it is the turn of Sira Macias from Argentina saw her in action a week ago in Sombatec but not on the floor
Priscilla Macias, who took a team gold in the South American Championships in June, was looking in good form throughout this routine right up until that point and the legs separating in the air you see but also as we all saw just uh, bounce onto the floor and that one mark deduction picked up for that Alexander Kartsev is marching around and trying to stay as cool as possible ahead of his parallel bars routine Vladislav Hideko the new leader 13 0.75 for Hodeko. Well, Kartsev qualified in third position for the parallel bars, just 17 years old and brilliantly played the final he needed to to take bronze in Osiacek earlier this year. Whilst others falters, Kartsev, despite having a lower difficulty, executed very, very well, and that's characteristic of his routines. See one adjustment there on the arm, and then he moves over, adding difficulty. Line of the body so clean, and then into the dismount. It's a couple of extra steps to stabilize. named in Russia's reserve national team for this year. Getting good international experience picked up here in Paris for Kartsev. Now we have Sofia Kovac on the floor. Kovac the fifth in qualification. had an excellent season Sofia Kovac and there's a lot to admire in that routine simply the line of her body and the form in some of her vaulting but we did see two feet placed outside the boundary lines and the deductions will be made because of that was Kartsev into third position 13.6 and that is the position of three so far. Next up is Sergei Eltkov, also of Russian Federation. Lovely release and catch 
from the second gymnast ranked in terms of qualification. And there's the stabiliser. Sergei Eltkov is someone who looks for inspiration across several sports, not just inside gymnastics. It's the likes of Alexei Nemov and Kohei Uchimura who he admires most in the sport, but outside it, it's Usain Bolton, Alexandra Karolin, the Greco-Roman wrestler, who he really looks to for inspiration. Aneta Holosova from the Czech Republic. way to end from Aneta Holosova. Third in qualification. She picked up the bronze on the floor here last year. Zofia Kovac has gone into second position. So we now see Eltkov's positioning. He's gone into first on the parallel bars. So this is Eltkov, 14.85. is Kaito Sugimoto as the top qualifier. Doesn't have the most difficult routine in this final, but he's just execution is so spot on. Lovely controlled. Straddle into handstand. Working his way along the parallel bars. And working into the dismount and lands it, sticks it even. Kaito Sugimoto from Japan is that the gold medal winning routine. On first viewing, it felt like the neatest and the smoothest. It's always a good judge to go by. And Etta Holosova has gone into second. So improving on her qualification positioning. Of course, we do have more gymnasts to come, so we will hold fire on that. First up is Sarah Peter.
handed the opportunity to compete in this final by Ellie Downing's withdrawal. Sarah Peter has taken her opportunity. Kaito Sugimoto has backed up on his qualification score to take a and post a superb parallel bars score following a routine of real class. So now Ryan Shepard from Hungary. Someone who says he's always a bag of nerves before competition, but as soon as he raises his hand, he's in a different world. Fourth in qualification, Ryan Shepard representing Hungary. to the single bar at difficulty so he just clipped his left leg on the way back up and then on the way down with the right leg there's a difficult routine that he goes for it's a good release and catch And a very good dismount. Ryan Shepard. Six point one difficulty in qualification that routine. He most definitely enjoyed himself. Competed in Sombafe last week. Salapita goes into third position. She's behind Aneta Holosova and behind Marine Boyer, who still leads. And this is Anastasia Alistratava from Belarus. year-old is someone who says that in gymnastics there are no small things everything counts every movement of the hand and that was a very nice overall image created by Anastasia Alistair Tava Ryan Shepard is into third so six gymnasts gone still Kaito Sugimoto who leads 15 Point three, a superb score. <laughs> Trying to show the core strength is Nikolaus Leopoulos. Sit in qualification, slow handstand. Move on to single bar. He finished seventh in Baku in the only World Cup event he's competed in this season up until this point. 
someone who's competed in the last five world championships but has never made a final so relishing the opportunities such as this in Paris when they come. Anastasia Alistratava is posted enough for fifth position but you see a 0.3 penalty deduction there. And Paola Mejias from Puerto Rico. Paula Mejias from Puerto Rico, sixth in qualification. Things didn't go her way in the vault and she left looking rather crestfallen. Out of the medals before she'd seen everyone come through. Hasn't stopped her holding back in this and just saw the result there. Just going her a marked deduction for that. Iliopoulos from Greece into seventh position now, the third and final. Eighth and final competitor, Yevgen Yudenkov of Ukraine. Yudenkov was seventh in his qualification performance. It's that handstand, but with a little adjustment, knees down again. Just see the hands there pacing, which means having to reposition them to ensure stability and that will incur deductions. It's a dismount though which aesthetically very pleasing and landed with a minimal amount of additional stability. So Yevgen Yudenkov, the last to go and his results will give us the final field. There's still Kaito Sugimoto out there. Carla Magias with an 11 flat score and ranked seventh. So Diana Vorinska now to go in Blues final. From Ukraine, Vorinska the top qualifier with a 13.55. Current lead is Marine Boyer.
acrobatic elements and choreography to match the music the overall impression very very strong from Diana Varinska and if she can better 13.4 she will have the gold medal that means if she can match her qualification score of 13.55 that's all she's got to do here There's some very very good landings from acrobatic skills with great amplitude Varinska 12 months ago, took a sixth and a fourth on here in Paris. Yudenkov is going to finish just outside the medals, so the parallel bars final completed. Kaito Sugimoto has the gold medal. Sergei Elkov of the Russian Federation has the silver. And Ryan Shepard from Hungary will have the bronze. So we see Varinska trying to move herself into the gold medal winning position. The legs you see there were just crossed and then separated in the second part of the tumbling pass. Show of flexibility. This was a very good way to end the tumbling pass. Stuck landing. So close, and Varinska has done it. She backs up on qualification, and she takes the gold medal. Marine Boyer of France denied right at the end from the gold medal position. Diana Varinska, a superb performance for Ukraine. Kaito Sugimoto with a superb performance for Japan. 15.3, absolutely nailing his parallel bars. Routine Elkov, and then Shepard from Hungary in the bronze medal position. Yevgen Yudenkov, Vladislav Hileko, two Ukrainians outside the medals, not so on the women's floor. Diana Varinska, 18 years old, competed in two World Cups this year previously to this, and the four in the uneven bars and back. If that was her best result, she has come up trumps on the floor. Marine Boyer from France and then Aneta Holosova from the Czech Republic with excellent bronze medal.